Hi, this is going to be an instructional video to install my sub belt kits that I sell on eBay. So, uh, here's the projector. I went ahead and moved the bulb. Alright, first thing you're going to want to do is take the two screws holding the motor out. Sometimes these can be a little difficult, but most of the time they will come right out. That's going to drop your motor down. Swing that out of the way. Um, by the way, you will need a Phillips screwdriver, a razor blade, or a really sharp knife, and some sort of tool. You might be able to use a coat hanger or something. I have a little wire snake that I use to get this stuff done. But next thing you want to do is remove this spring. easier to remove it off the bottom down here. Here we go. Next thing is take this belt off. Just leave it hanging for now because we're going to concentrate on the motor area. If your tilting is still intact, you roll it off the top until it comes off. Then you take the smallest belt off. Now the smallest belt in the kit you put back on to the lower pulley all the way to the back. You grab your new tilt and belt, start it on the lower pulley, and run it across the upper pulley, and work it on there. Here's where the tricky part comes in. You gotta get that little belt on this. This is where you're gonna need a coat hanger or something to get a grip on it, because you have to do it as you actually install it. So once you get it on, this isn't easy to see, but as you can see, this, this is the most difficult part right here, is getting this belt to, here we go, to get back on there. And now you install your, your motor. Now once you get your motor installed, make sure that you got that belt in the correct grooves. Yeah, uh, little pulley back there. Okay, now you should be able to turn it. Yep, I can see it running. Okay, now we're going to start on the other belts. Don't take anything off basically until you're ready to replace it. We're going to take off the longest belt in the kit. It just snaps out. Then this belt has a little one back here. And as you take it off, pay attention. It's got a twist. See, this is going to have a right twist. Well, actually, I guess when you put it on, it'll be a left twist putting it back. So now I'll grab one of the small belts. Get back around. Make sure it's in the back where it belongs. And left twist. And there we go. That's back on there. Now we're going to the second largest, no, yeah, second largest belt. And we're going to go ahead and install it since it's on the back of this one. And back down. That's not the right one. I guess it is the, actually next to the smallest one. Sorry. You basically can't mess it up. I just can't remember where these go in some time. Now we're going to go back with the largest one. Okay, that completes that side. That leaves us two more belts left. Just pop it out. I want this tiny one back here. This one on this side does not have a twist. So. You gotta pay attention to where exactly it goes back there. I don't quite have it in the right slot. There we go, now I do. And then finally this belt back in. Now you can just push it between these. These things are all will move out of the way of the pulley as well. 
and pop that belt on. Don't forget to reconnect your spring. changed now the only thing to do is we got the two real tires to change if yours are still there the best thing to do is take a razor blade and slice it and it'll basically fall apart clean it all off I'm only going to do one right now just to show you guys done clean all the parts off take your new one and you might need to hold behind here and basically just push it on. There you go. Now sometimes you might have to adjust the tension on the take up reel, which actually is back here on the, well I'll bring it in a little bit, right on this little white thing. You can adjust the tension on that spring so you can, uh, if it's if it's pulling the uh, film a little bit too hard on play, you can loosen the tension on that. Now you got the uh, rewind and fast forward tires. Uh, the easiest thing probably for you to do is take a razor blade and cut it. There you go. Pull that out. Now I don't have one wide enough so I have to use two on each one. So once you put them together you get the right width. Basically just Put them on there. We'll roll it into position. And then come behind it with the next one. And if they're not sitting flat, you just kind of have to work it around until they go down in your groove. And then do the same thing over here on this other side. I hope it helps.